Well, hello again and welcome to my channel. I'm Fraser from Metalworking in France. Uh, I'm going to give you a little tour around my Colchester to lathe. Uh, just, you know, because you've seen, you've probably seen it in some of, you know, one or two of my videos. Um, but I'm just going to give you a rundown. That's this, this machine here behind me. It's a Colchester Master 2500 or 2500. The 2500 denotes the speed, uh, the top speed that this machine will run at, which is pretty quick actually for a metal turning lathe. So uh, anyway, I'll give you a rundown and give you some idea of what this machine's capable of. Okay. So here we see the machine. Uh, it's quite a complex piece of machinery actually. In my opinion, probably one of the best, uh, well, best all-round machines uh, to use for precision work and some heavy work as well. Um, in my opinion, it's, this is virtually my, only my opinion, sorry, um, that uh, this is possibly the, the best machine built ever built, uh, or this, this man manufacturer of machine, probably the best one ever built for general tool room work. Uh, I may be an ex tool maker. I don't do tool making anymore because it's obviously a little bit, little bit more complex and, and a little bit more involved than just using a lathe and a milling machine. Uh, I don't have grinders and, and, and you know, very precision uh, instruments. So uh, anyway, this is the, the Master 2500, which is uh, uh, built by, or it was built by Colchester Lays. Uh, obviously they come from Colchester in Essex. And uh, this machine's very, very versatile. Uh, it runs from, from, with a speed of approximately 90, I think it's 95 revs per minute up to uh, one minute, let me have a look. No, it's uh, 30 revs per minute, right up to 2,500 revs. Uh, the, you can change the, the speeds on it. I'll go into that in a little bit more in, as we go on. Anyway, this machine, uh, as I say, in my opinion, possibly one of the most versatile machines around. Um, there are other machines available, obviously, uh, worldwide. There are, and people have to, their own opinions on what machine they prefer. Anyway, we'll switch this on and then I'll have to go into uh, a different mode uh, because obviously the machine's too noisy for me to talk over. So here we are, here's the on off button. Uh, I'll just switch the power on. Uh, you won't really hear the lathe uh, to that extent because I'll turn the volume down. Um, but anyway, uh, I'll just run this through. Uh, I'll try changing the gears. Uh, the only problem with changing the gears, really I have to keep rocking the, the chuck every now and then to engage the gears. So it's, it's a little bit tricky. You'll have to excuse the, the quality of the video, I'm afraid. Um, but uh, we'll turn it right down to its lowest speed of about 30 revs per minute. And there you can see it's, it's running nice and slowly. Ideal for cutting threads and things like that or doing any sort of other in intricate type work. And then I'll just wind this round and put it right up onto its highest speed. Again, I'll have to rock the chuck to try and get the lever to the gear to engage. There you go. So uh, then you will wind this up. It sounds a bit like an aeroplane taking off as the speed builds up. So that's now running at about 2,500 revs. That's pretty fast, pretty fast for a metal turning lathe. Normally I only use this if I'm polishing something and even then it's normally only a small piece. You can't do it with a big piece of steel in there to be way too much vibration. But uh, I'll just take this down to more or less a, a normal running speed. Uh, not really quite sure how fast it is, but it's uh, a normal, uh, just a, a normal um, average speed for cutting steel. So uh, here we see the, the feed is in operation. Uh, it's, it's in the forward motion at the, mo at the moment. I can reverse that feed so it can go back the other way. We'll switch that off. And then uh, as you can see, that's just the, uh, the main drive through to the, through to the uh, feed. And now I've got the lead screw running, as you can see, the screw is running, and that's for cutting threads. So uh, you, you'll notice that uh, the hand wheel tends to drop down under its own weight occasionally, but that's just gravity. It's only taken up backlash. So uh, 
these are the, the levers I use for changing the speeds, uh, either for changing the, the feed speeds and also for changing the, uh, the, the, the thread pitch, basically. And I can choose between a high and low gear, which would be changed with some change wheels in the back of the machine, or in norm normally in high gear, uh, low gear rather, sorry. Uh, I, I can do most metric threads and most imperial threads. So, uh, and then you, you just, I just have to change the wheels accordingly. And then this dial at the bottom here that's got, uh, goes one to eight, that controls the, the finer feed on it. We come up the top onto the compound slide on the lathe. Uh, this will, I can actually turn this in, in degrees as well for taper turning, uh, but that would only be manually. I'd use, have to use the hand wheel for that. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's, it's, it's not looking too bad actually. It's, uh, I'm showing you the, the feed rolling through again, once again. Uh, I can reverse that, as I say, there's a lever on the, uh, near the gear, gear change levers, which would, it can change the, uh, the direction. Uh, the lathe will still keep running forward, but the feed would go backwards, back the other way. So, uh, we can cut left hand threads. This is the lever I would use to, to reverse the feed. So uh, that's nice and easy to operate. Again, you have to have the machine stop to do that really though. So uh, you can't really do it while the machine is running at any sort of speed. This one changes, uh, that's, that would just be the, the lead screw not running when it's in that middle position. Uh, this is the swarf uh, bin. Uh, there's a coolant pump there. Uh, we also have a light which has got LED lighting in it. Uh, the original system uh, decided to break down, so I converted it to take LED lamps, which just run off a 12 volt uh, supply. So, uh, yeah, that's quite good. Well, there you have it. Uh, and a little, another little video just to give you a rundown on what, uh, what my lathe is kind of capable of. Uh, to my mind, uh, possibly the best tool room lathe ever built. Uh, made by Colchester Lathe Company. Um, they're not in, the, in uh, operation anymore. Uh, they folded up a few years ago. Um, you'll excuse my, my attire this time round again because uh, I'm still having a few days away, little break in the UK. So uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed that video. And uh, if you have any comments to make, please feel free to do so. And uh, please, if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my channel. And in the meantime, look out for more videos in the future. Goodbye.